Hi, all praises to the Most High. Spiritual gifts come from God's anointing, not the Olegen school. You cannot make your anointing or appointed career in the body of Christ for the kingdom of God. <coughs> all have a gift from God and all have a different calling that make up the body of Christ. All members of the body of Christ have a function and a gift to help the body of Christ reach salvation. All members are important. As there be many parts to the body of Christ, there are many gifts to its members in the body to help reach salvation. God has appointed and anointed his children with the anointings and gifts of what he has called his servants, his children to do. Like the parable of talents, which all have a talent, which also, your, which also is your gift. God has uniquely designed all his children and given them gifts according to where they excel the most and have faith how he made them. Individuals must not make themselves into preachers, apostles, prophets, prophetess, ministers, etc. You cannot make your career in God's kingdom. God appoints his career to his children with anointing them and giving them their work. Those who go to school to become a preacher are in error, for they are not appointed or anointed by God. They made themselves preachers. They are in error. Nor do they help the body of Christ, but cause confusion, error, and sin, for they are not obeying the voice of the Lord, and teach people the same. They know not what they teach, for they were not appointed teachers, but are teaching. They were not appointed preachers, but are preachers. They are, pro they are prophets, but God has not ordained them prophets. Let me just put that in them prophets. Appointed or anointed them prophets. They are ministers and God never ordained them ministers, healers, etc. You cannot go to theologian school to work for God's kingdom. For God's kingdom is not of this world. Therefore, you cannot seek God in a school of this kingdom world. You have to seek God. And to further prove all this, let's go to the scriptures. John 18 and 36. Christ answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight and I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. So you know God's kingdom is not from this world. So you can't see God in a kingdom of this world. Luke 12 and 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. So you know God's kingdom is not of this world. So you have to seek God's kingdom. You have to seek him. Now, Adam, Eve, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Israel, and Moses, prophets, and the 12 apostles never went to theologian school to become who they were. They were appointed and anointed by God to work for his kingdom. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is christ so also all, all the members of christ who make up the body of christ 1 corinthians 12 and 14 for the body is not one member but many so the body of christ and the people who make up the body of christ are not one member they're many so they have many different gifts to help people reach salvation if the foot shall say because i am not the hand i am not of the body is it therefore not of the body? Just like if you're a seer, if you're an interpreter of dreams, aren't you all useful to the body of Christ? Yes, you are. That is the point it's making. If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, am I not of the body? Is it therefore not of the body? Because the eyes of the body of Christ, those are the seers, because they see. The ears of the body of Christ, those are the prophets, because they hear. 1 Corinthians 12 and 17. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? So if everybody was a seer, seeing, who was hearing? But seers can also see and hear. But there's different functions and members of the body of Christ. If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? So even your nose, every member has a function and a reason. 1 Corinthians 12 and 18. But now has God sent the members, every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? 
1 Corinthians 12 and 20. But now are there many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Because the hand are the healers, right? And those who work miracles, right? Nor again the head to the feet. Isn't that the mind of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your head? Those people who dream and have visions and use their head of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I have no need of you. You can't say that. Nay, much more those members of the body would seem to be more feeble are necessary. So everybody in the body of Christ and every duty and gift God gives you to each of its members, it is necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, like if people think their gift is not great enough, wherever God blessed them, it is great. Upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God has tempered the body together. So the whole body of Christ, you're supposed to help each other together, having given more abundant honor to the part which lacks. So where you lack in the body of Christ, there's another member who doesn't that is supposed to help you up. That there should be no schisms in the body, but that the members, the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, ye are the body of Christ. So if you don't think I know what I'm talking about when I'm explaining the body of Christ and Christ's body and how you all fit up as members and your gift all help to advance God's kingdom in helping those in the body of Christ reach salvation. Now, ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has sent some in the church first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. And those would be the good gifts of God. And that is how you make up the body of Christ. These gifts, as we read in, as we read in Romans 11 and 29, I mean 1 Corinthians 12 and 4, there are many gifts. And if we go down to here, 1 Corinthians 12 and 8, the spirit of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, to another the gifts of healing, the same spirit, working of miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits, diverse kinds of tongues. And this one, 2 Timothy 1 and 11, he was appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. So he had more than one job in the body of Christ. He was a preacher. He was an apostle, and he was a teacher. Having all the gifts of healing, do we all speak tongues? But God will give you as much as... This is just telling you he can give you more than one gifts in Romans 12 and 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, it's depending on your grace. Now, are you appointed and anointed? Because we got a lot of people in these jobs and careers of the kingdom of God where God didn't appoint them and God didn't anoint them. Now, we we have to know, you have to have this appointing and anointing from the king. Job 23 and 14, for he performed the thing that is appointed for me. So God has to appoint something for you. And many such things are with him. 2 Timothy's 1 and 11 well, Timothy tells you, where unto I am appointed a preacher. What was he? He was appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher. He didn't make himself one. He didn't go to school for this. Now, it's the appointing and the anointing. Now, Acts 10 and 38, even Christ, he was anointed by God to do what he did. How God anointed Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him so he was what he was anointed what was Timothy he was appointed now Luke 4 and 18 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised 
So what did God do? He anointed Christ in Luke 4 and 18 as well. Now, Matthew 28 and 16. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Christ had appointed them. Even the, 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 the disciples, they were appointed. That is what it tells you in Matthew 28 and 16. Now, Luke 22 and 29. And I appointed you a kingdom as my father has appointed unto me. What, what did he give? He appointed unto you. Now, 2 Corinthians 1 and 21. Now, he which establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us in God is God. Who anointed us is God. Oh, he established you and he anointed you. Well, let's read this again. 2 Corinthians 1 and 21. Now he has established us with you in Christ and has anointed us and has anointed us is God. Now Psalms 104 and 19. He appointed the moon for a season. The sun's nose is going down. God appointed everything and he anointed who he called. Know that even the moon for the seasons is appointed by God. Galatians 4 and 2 but is under tutors and governments until the time appointed of the father. You, even if you're at schooling and you're going through tutors and governments, you still don't work for God until God, what? Appo you're appointed of by the father. Psalms 102 and 20, to hear the groaning of the prisoner to lose those that are appointed to death so people are also appointed to death now proverbs 31 and 8 open thy mouth for the dumb and the cause of all that are appointed to destruction so you got people who are appointed to destruction as well job 30 and 23 for i know that thou will bring me to death and to the house appointed for all living so god appoints people and he anoints people and he gives them their gifts. You don't go to school to work for the kingdom of God and in the body of Christ.